Are we ready to begin? We've established the candidate firm as a viable proxy. Public interest is strong, market confidence is high. I've spoken with my people in the Ark. Our ghost will be ready to activate when the moment comes. And the research? The trials are complete, yes? We're close, but we need more time. Explain. The tests have yielded excellent results during this phase, but the effects vary. With more time, we can ensure the mechanism will work exactly as required. And told us the latest batch was ready for release. All of our plans depend on your provision. Delays are unacceptable. To get the data we require, the testing arrangement will need to be increased. We can see to that in Panama. You'll have what you want. Are we at risk? Our new recruit is ready, but he is unstable. And the scientist? Under control. He'll do what he's told. What about the two that got away? Missing. Presumed dead. They interfered in Geneva. That cannot happen again. If they come out of hiding, I'll kill them myself. Returning now to our main story. The global shortage of neuropazine is making life difficult for augmented people everywhere. Pharmaceutical giant Versalife, sole manufacturer of the anti-rejection drug, has suffered multiple setbacks in recent months, slowing the company's ability to meet demand. Anna, what's wrong? You're unsteady. I'm fine. As good as can be expected. Are you skipping your meds? I know you're not sleeping. Come on, talk to me. It doesn't matter. The clock is ticking, Ben. You know they're out there looking for us. And it's only a matter of time before he finds out where we're hiding. He won't find us here. We can't just sit here waiting. If we had enough information, proof of what they're doing, we could expose them. Conspiracies thrive in the darkness. But if we could shine a light on them, so bright it would make it impossible for them to operate. Two against the Illuminati. You'll never expose the tyrants. They just cover their lies with more lies. They work in the shadows, it's what they're good at. I know, because I used to be one of them. The only way to stop them is to wipe them out. What happened to you, Ben? Before Geneva? What was it like to be a tyrant? What did you see? Tell me about him. I couldn't tell where the man ended and the machine began. His name is Jaron Namir. Commander of the Tyrants, a covert black ops unit. I was working for the Bell Tower PMC. Namir rescued me from a mission that went bad. Operation Rainbird, right in the heart of the Australian Civil War. I lost my entire team out there. We were shot down. Only two of us survived the crash, me and Sam. Corporal Sam Duarte. But Sam died before they came. I had nowhere else to go. Namir recruited me. My first mission with the Tyrants was in Moscow. The target was a Russian minister. They said he was in bed with a cyber warfare hacker group. They said he was the one responsible for Operation Rainbird. Namir gave me a chance for revenge. Target. Remember that face, Ben. 
This is the man responsible for the deaths of your former team. You are to terminate him with extreme prejudice. To Sam and the others. All call signs, check in. This is blue, ready to roll. Gray right here, let's go. White, I'm already in position. Red, follow me. Go now. Frequency. From this moment on, use code names and sub-vocal communication only. You can look... You can move in any direction by you... Red, blue, secure the roof. Check for stragglers. Gray, with me! Use the mouse to align the crosshair with your enemies. Use the left mouse button to fire your weapon when an enemy is inside your crosshair for an accurate shot. Stop riding. You're like a little girl. And what does it even mean? It means what you think it Last bloke was Bradford, Russian Mafia. They all are. Keep up! You can perform a takedown by approaching an enemy and using the Q key. You have the choice of performing a noisy lethal hold Q or a silent non-lethal press Q takedown. Approach an enemy. Where's Red? Oh, she's around. Great! Deny their communications. You can interact with objects in the world by placing your crosshair on them and pressing the E key. Done. Target comms are dead. Ready. Get that hatch <laughs> Once a weapon has been assigned to a quick slot, you can hold down the H key to roll out your available quick slots. You
symbols will appear as triangles on your radar at the bottom of the screen. The color of the triangle indicates the enemy's level of alertness, while its orientation I've got company. Go tactical. Eliminate all threats. Energy cells are consumed when you perform takedowns or use your augmentation abilities. Partially used energy cells will regenerate... You can utilize cover objects in the world to evade danger. Enter cover on the wall ahead of you by approaching it and pressing the right mouse button. Then transfer between cover objects on your left to avoid the turret. Proceed and stay alert. If you move to the edge of a cover object, you can silently dive to an adjacent piece of cover by pressing the spacebar. You can open a locked door by hacking its security terminal. Locked doors often provide alternate routes to If you take damage, your body will automatically heal over time. You can replenish hit points in... There are attachments and upgrades available for every weapon. To attach a silencer to your gun, Pause the game and access the weapon's info screen in your inventory. Silenced weapons can be fired without alerting the enemy. A group of enemies operates as a squad. 
If a member of the squad is alerted to your presence, he will call up. The administrator has been locked up for days. Take out the guard. Is he going to be unaware? This I don't know. What I do know is that after this shift, you are buying guard drinks. Yes, yes. I lost a bit. I know. It's all I hear from you all day. Armed mines can be deadly. You can detonate them by shooting them from a safe distance, or approach them slowly and disarm them. Kontarski's rooms are up ahead. The target must be close. He could be shielded from thermographic scan. It's a decoy.
weapons, items, and ammo can be purchased at any time through the inventory. Stand by, Gray. We're coming to you. Isolate and neutralize the target. Titanium optic shield is down. Be extra alert. Sergei went to take help. It will be fine. Just keep your eyes open. <laughs> Gain new abilities at any time by using Praxis software to unlock your body's mechanical augmentations. Unlock the glass shield cloaking system so that you can bypass the security laser without being detected. Augmentations are assigned to quick slots and can be activated at any time. These augmentations consume energy whenever. You must not stop me! He's here to kill you, Mikhail. You told me I would have more time! Please, I have to finish what I started or- Touch that console, it'll be the last thing you ever do, Minister. Mikhail, this is bigger than you. We need the data on the killing floor and the tyrants. You must complete the upload. That's enough from you, pal. No. No, not yet. It's over. You're not here to arrest me. You're not a policeman. What authority do you have? Please. 
I beg of you, do not kill me. I only did what I thought was right. This man is not a criminal. You cannot judge him. Save it. You're part of a global terror network. The people you sold out to are responsible for the deaths of my men. Operation Rainbird. You know that name? You know what happened out there? That was my squad you sacrificed. They were soldiers, doing their jobs. It wasn't even their damn war, but you gave us up to the enemy. You're going to answer for what you've done. Are you watching this? Because we're coming for you next. No! No, no, no! That's not true! I'm not a terrorist! I, I've never even heard of this Operation Rainbird! Please, Janus, help me! Do you know what you are doing, mercenary? Do you know what master you serve? You are being lied to. They cannot afford to have you learn the truth. They are using your desire for revenge to control you. Janice is right. I don't know anything about your men. You must believe me. I do not want to die. I won't kill you, but you're coming with me, and you're gonna tell me everything. Green light! Please! I do not want to die! Target has been terminated! All units, exfiltrate now! Tyrants and the men holding their leash don't seek justice. They want control, absolute control. And they use every tool available to them. Manipulation, lies, assassination. How did you find out that Namir was lying to you about Kontarsky and Operation Rainbird? After Moscow, I knew something was wrong. I started looking where I wasn't supposed to. The tyrants operate from a mobile base, a jetliner fitted with stealth gear. That's where I found the intel on Namir's computer. What did you find, Ben? It's really important. Try to remember every detail you can. We were flying at night, across the North Atlantic. We were in the middle of a storm. I waited until the debrief was complete, and made sure the others were out of the way. I took the opportunity to look around. into the control center and forced access to the Mir's computer. He used a program called the Killing Floor to get his orders.
I suppose you could call me a freelancer if you really felt the need to have a label. We share a similar past, you and I. Both of us have worked under, shall we say, special conditions for our respective homelands. I wonder, would you allow me to make an observation? Feel free. You're wasting your potential here. Bell Tower offers a good career for men like us. I don't dispute that. But the chance to really accomplish something, to make a difference, to bring order to a chaotic world. Bell Tower can't do that. Orders from where? Sure, but I found the recon report for Operation Rainbird. Two versions of it. One which said our flight path was safe, clear of drone activity, and another which told the truth. We were sent straight into a kill zone. Kataski had nothing to do with it. you to tell me the truth about Operation Rainbird. Kantarsky was never involved, was he? You used me to kill him. You're a very good soldier, Ben, but there's something you lack. Enlighten me. You can't see where the line is. You don't know how to compartmentalize yourself. You're not willing to make that sacrifice. 
That's what we have to do. Put up walls around the parts of our souls we want to keep sacrosanct. Barriers to protect our humanity. We're killers, man. It's what we're best at. Is that what you do? You're one man in here with us. Out there, you're someone else. An assassin, a liar. That's not something to be proud of. That's a pattern of psychosis. You're very good at what you do, man. But inside, you're weak. You can't let go. I thought that might change after what happened in Australia. I had hopes. You were part of that. I want you to think very carefully about what you say next. Because this is the most important choice you will ever make. What happened in Moscow? That was not a test of your character or your loyalty. This is the test. This is what will define who you are and your future with the tyrants. Do you understand? I need to know if you can be like me. Like the rest of us. Like you. You don't hide your humanity, Namir. You just tell yourself you do. But you lost it a long time ago. You and Barrett, Fedorova and the others. You're just a weapon that thinks like a man. That's a shame. I really wanted you to understand. I hate to see great potential waste. Tell me what you did. I want the truth. I wish I could make it clear how lucky you are. Recruitment into the tyrants is not a reward that just anyone is given. You were on our radar for a long time before I came to you in Australia. I gave you the opportunity to be something greater. The falsified mission data. You had it substituted for the real thing. How? We have assets inside the Bell Tower Corporation. It wasn't difficult. Those men in your squad, they were a hindrance to you. They had to be sacrificed. It was your trial by fire. If you had perished there in the desert alongside them, then you had no place with us. But if you came out alone... I tried to save them. Sam Duarte, I could have saved his life. He was expendable. They all were. I gave the order to sabotage Rainbird because I needed to know if you were willing to live, and if you had the courage to survive. You heartless fucking bastard. Survivor's guilt. The psychological profile said that was all I needed to control you. But these things are so hard to determine. I'm pleased. I could prove you wrong. Jetliner really did a number on your neural hub. I can't believe I had to reconfigure it. All the progress you've made with your augmentations. Lost. I'll be fine. I've already started relearning the basics. I'll be using my augmentations at full strength in no time. I suppose so. Still, it's a miracle that you survived. You and me both. You did as much to hurt them as I did. But they're still looking for us. And the moment we stick our heads up, we'll be spotted. They're after us because they're afraid of what we know. We can expose them, Ben. We can get justice, not just revenge. I know that, Luke. What's your plan? We've got pieces of the puzzle. We just need to put them back together. Think back to what you found on the plane. The killing floor. That's what the tyrants call their communications network. Some kind of encrypted data node where they get their orders from above. Right. Someone else is pulling the strings. The tyrants are just a tool. Namir said he had assets in Bell Tower, the private military contractor. That's where he found me. So they're embedded in the world's biggest private military contractor. 
This gets better and better. Operation Rainbird went down in Queensland. It was a strike mission, part of the Australian oil conflict. And Namir was there to pull you out of the ashes. Exactly. He had everything in place. So we know the tyrants have major assets in Australia. That's a start. I've been scanning the net, looking at Glass Curtain. Conspiracy group, all the activist groups. They talk about the tyrants. They have profiles, but no one takes them seriously. You think people will listen to us? Ben Saxon broke down squaddy. Anna Kelso, federal agent turned fugitive. There's always someone who will... listen. <laughs> Anna! Damn it! Where are your meds? Where's the neuropathy? Ben. My fault. I waited too long between doses. And I know why. We're almost out. Without a supply of new pods, this will happen more often. Our augmentations will malfunction. Janice is supposed to find us a new source, right? I don't trust anyone else. I haven't spoken to our hacker friend in months. Then I guess we might have to tough it out for a while. No. I'm not gonna put you at risk. I'll contact Janice now. Janus, are you out there? Hello, Benjamin. It's been a while. Are you and Miss Kelso safe? For now. But Anna's sick. I mean, we both are. We're running out of neuropazine. You're not the only ones. The neuropazine shortage is getting worse. 
Unmitted people everywhere are suffering. Can you help us? It might be time to start looking for alternatives, Benjamin. An alternative to neuropathy? I don't have any sources that can supply you directly. The risk of exposure is too great. You're gonna have to pay a visit to the doctor. I can't go to a limb clinic. If I use any official channels, they'll track me down, and Anna and I will be on the run again. I understand that. I have a contact for you. An underground doctor who operates in Panama City. His name is Alvarez Araujo. He may be able to help. Panama's a dangerous place. I'm gonna need some equipment, some protection if I'm going there. The city is rife with black market contacts. Providing you have the money, they'll be happy to sell you what you want, and it won't be traced back to you. I may need to upgrade my augmentations. I don't know what kind of trouble I might get into out there. You'll need a Praxis kit for that, but your mechanical augmentations can be enhanced at any time if you have one, and you won't have to blow your cover visiting a limb clinic for an upgrade. Tell me about this guy, Alvarez. Can I trust him? His past is shady. He used to be a doctor, but now he operates in the slums. It seems he has something of an altruistic streak. The poor and desperate turn to him when they can't get help elsewhere. I know how they feel. Okay, I can take the maglev line straight into the city, and then I'll track down our man. Thank you, Janice, for everything. You'll pay me back one day. People always do. Good luck, Benjamin. see a contact in Panama City. The maglev train leaves in an hour. You're going out there? I should come with you. No, it's too risky for us to go out together. You stay here, stay safe. This place is off the grid, no one knows about it. You know me. I'm not exactly good at doing nothing. Then don't. You still got contacts you trust, right? Use them. See what you can dig up about Namir and the tyrants. And what about you? Who's gonna keep you safe if I'm not around? Keep a low profile, be discreet, and only use force when necessary. All right, Ben. Stay in contact on the info link. Tell me what you see out there, any clues you find. I'll do the same from this end. And promise me one thing. Name it. Don't get yourself killed. We've only got each other.
Commissioner, do you read me? I'm in Panama City. How does it feel to get back into the world? A breath of fresh air, huh? I wouldn't exactly call it fresh. Just try not to draw attention to yourself. So who is this guy you're looking for? Dr. Alvarez Araujo. I'll let you know when I find him. You think you scare me with your shiny arm off? Maybe you should try living here with the gangsters. Mi hermana. She's been telling me how this city is getting overrun with the okay, gringo. You looking for some action or something? Friend of mine tried to steal from the gangbangers not too long ago. I don't know what's going on. Shit! Why don't the cops ever do anything to fix this slum? Okay, so Paolo, cool. That's a nice looking augmentation you have there. Thank you. 
your back around here. And if you're smart, yes. you'll stay out of the slums as well. Chelo, can Don't you trust any. You're looking for some action or something?
Walking, Og. You ain't welcome here. You take the dog, you get sick, and she comes back. There's a doctor. Arias, Arujo, something like that. Runs a clinic around. A couple of people have been missing for days. Right, pick me up I got a feeling the gang has something to do with it. Are you getting some work today. done on you today? Researchers working for the First Alive Corporation announced that they have found a method of curing AIDS. Yes, who are you? What do you want? I'm very busy. Dr. Araujo, a friend sent me. I heard that you might be able to help someone in my position. I might be able to help a lot of people. So, out with it. What do you want? I'm looking for a reliable supply of neuropazine. No questions asked. <laughs> Well, I'm not interested in your personal affairs, so maybe you've come to the right place. But unfortunately for you, I don't deal in neuropazine anymore. No pose is in short supply and the margins are just no good. There's got to be something else. I heard there was an alternative to neuropazine. What do you know about that? Oh, you're smarter than you look. 
VersaLife has tried to eliminate all the competitors and anti-rejection generics. But there is a new drug available from Zephyr Labs. The new hope, as it were. It's called Raisin. Rhizine? Tell me about it. It's like Neuropazine? Yes, in fact, it's virtually identical to Neuropazine, but cheaper and not made by VersaLife. And believe me, VersaLife is not very happy about that fact. They try to suppress it, keep it out of the lean clinics, try to sabotage the drug trials so that no one can get it. They want everyone to keep taking Neuropazine. So Rhizine isn't available legally anywhere? Not yet, Hefe. But it's only a matter of time before Zaphire has it approved by the WHO. And then I stop making money selling it. <laughs> okay, I want a month's supply to start with, and then regular, untraceable deliveries for as long as I need it. Meto, Pana, I am not a trafficker. I treat anyone who comes in that door, but that's it. If you're still interested, I can administer a dose now to treat your symptoms, but no more. Okay. If it gets me back on my feet, that'll do. Ah, a man who embraces his destiny. Like me. Hold out your arm, please. The fleshy one. Ah, just a moment. There we go. Ah, oh, that stings. Yeah, that's better. Works fast, yes? No more seizures. But for how long? I need to secure a supply for myself. And a friend. It sounds like you need more help than I can provide. I can put you in contact with someone at Lim. I can't just walk into Lim. I mean, I don't want anyone to know who I am. I need to keep a low profile. That's why I came to someone like you. Someone like me? <laughs> Please, I am a very resourceful man. I have in my possession a Lim preferred client card linked to an anonymous RFID. Using this card, you can access all of the services of a Lim clinic including as much neuropazine as you can afford, while remaining safely anonymous. That's if you deserve it, of course. What do you want for it? Name your price. Answer me this. A man is cast adrift with no family bonds, no old friends, and no morals to guide his actions. What do you call him? A man who is free to do anything he pleases. Ha! Not many would see things as you do. I can tell you're seeking something important. You're on a mission, eh? You can take the card. I've always been too generous for my own good. Talk to Dr. Cardoso at the Lynn Clinic downtown. She runs the place. She can make anything happen. But I must warn you, she's a tough woman. So be polite. Thanks. A couple of people been missing for days. I don't. I got a feeling the gang has something to do with it. I need your help, please. What's the problem? My boyfriend Luis. He's been missing for weeks. He started working for the skulls about a month ago, and now he's gone. I tried to find him, but nobody wants to help a Nupo's rat. Can you look for him? Can you find Luis? If I'm gonna look for your boyfriend, I need more information. Tell me about Luis. He's ex-military. With augmentations not so different from yours. But his body never accepted them. And he got addicted to the drugs. It wasn't really a problem until the shortage. That's when Luis had to pick up work with the Skulls. He didn't like talking about what he was doing for them. But they paid him in Nupos. And we needed a steady supply. So I didn't ask. But now he's gone. And without him, I don't have a Nupos hookup. 
Okay, I'll help you. You will? Thank you. Luis has military-grade leg augmentations. That should help you spot him. Anna, it's Ben. I met with the doctor. Looks like the neuropazine shortage is worse than we realized. But I found an alternative, another drug. Something called Rhizine. It seems to do the same job. You took it? How do you feel? Better. First time in days I haven't had a pounding headache. But I only got enough for one dose. So I'm going to the local limb clinic to track down some new pods. I have a contact there. Be careful. Limb runs ID checks on all of their clients. If they figure out who you are... Don't worry. I've got it under control. Good luck.
am so proud to be in any way a part to this contribution. We can only hope Mr. Page is right. Shipment has to get out tonight, or else El Jefe ain't gonna be happy. Get it on the truck. I don't know, man. I don't wanna go out there. Oh, sure. No problem. I'll tell the boss you didn't want to. I'm sure he'll understand. Whatever, Nyanyo.
happened? Did you find Louise? I'm sorry, but I was too late. Louise is gone. Gone? Louise is gone? It's all my fault. I told them to take that job. Because of the new pose. Louise is dead. Because I needed a fix. Oh God. How am I supposed to get new pose without him? I'm sorry. I know what it's like. At least you tried. Thank you for trying. Here, take this.
really looking forward to improving my social skills with those cranial implants I keep reading about. Welcome to Lib International. Liberty in mind and body. How may I help you? I'm here to see Dr. Cardoso. Okay. If you'll just tap your preferred client card on the reader, I can let you through. Your preferred client card has been rejected. Are you Dr. Cardoso? Who are you? What do you want? How do you know my name? A mutual friend sent me. Alvarez. He said you might be able to help. Come in. I don't have any appointments. You're in the wrong room. All the doctors are great. Camila is the best. I know you're kind. You're a mercenary, Jess. With those Augs, what else could you be? What business do you have with Alvarez? If you came here looking for combat drugs, I can't help you. I was suffering from DDS. My Augs were failing, and I'm sure you know about the shortage of Nupos. Alvarez dosed me up with Risey to stop the seizures for now. But I still need to secure a supply of neuropathy. Santa Maria! You took Rysine? How do you feel? It worked. The nerve tremors, the headaches, they're gone. But for how long? Look, maybe we can work out something better for you. I am the manager of this limb clinic. But you probably knew that already, didn't you? So then, what should I be calling you? Name's Ben. I guess you could call me a freelancer. Well, Ben. I'm afraid you've come at a difficult time. This clinic used to be a thriving community of augmentation engineers and physicians. We were really pushing the boundaries with cutting-edge technology, making a better world. But things changed. Government sanctions and trade embargoes are crippling us. Only the very rich can afford augmentation therapy now. And with the neuropathy in shortage, Ordinary people are being forced to take desperate measures. Doesn't Lim control the distribution of neuropazine all over Panama City? Why can't you make sure everyone gets a fair share? It's not that simple. The market is rigged. Our prices are regulated and our supply is rationed. With street drug versions of Rhizine replacing neuropazine, we're powerless to do anything about it. We're being squeezed out of business. That's why I've got to do something. But I can't use official channels. I need someone special. Someone under the radar to help me out. Are you interested? What's your plan? Every day I'm losing people. I don't know what kind of operation Zafire Biotech has going, 
but their rising is all over the black market. My clients are eating it up. Someone has to be held accountable. Somehow, the gangs in the slums are getting hold of shipments of the drug meant for clinical trials, and they're selling it on the street. God knows what they're cutting it with. If someone could get into gang territory and figure out how they're getting the rising... Someone like me, you mean? I have a contact at the train station who deals with the gangs. He's a gunrunner, calls himself Cobra. He knows how they operate. If you want to help me, go see him first. It's very important that I find out where the rising originates. I need to know if it's coming from Zafire, or if it's not the real thing, if it's some poison the gang is cooking up. They could do terrible damage. All right, but you've got to make it worth my while. I need a neuropazine connection. That means one case shipped every month to an address I specify. No tracking numbers, no receipts. Untraceable. I'm trying to save my position here, not ruin my reputation. If you manage to find some evidence, come back and we'll work something out. Anna, it's me. Listen, I found a new source. If everything goes well, we shouldn't have to worry about our new pulse supply for a long time. That's good news. Wait, if what goes well? Somebody needs help dealing with a local trash problem. Nothing's ever easy, is it? Okay, keep me posted. And don't make too much trouble. I'll do my best. citizen looks like you're packing some serious hardware you must be an agent government military I'm nobody leave me alone must be Cobra. That depends. Who the hell are you? Camilla Cardoso sent me. That should be good enough. Yeah, she told me you'd be coming. Said you're going into Skull's territory. Which means you're either one tough son of a bitch, or you've got a dent in that metal head of yours. Maybe both. Take enough hits and after a while you stop counting. So, what have you got for me? First of all, call me curious. But why would someone want to go into gang territory if he didn't have to? I mean, what are you looking to find? The slum gangs are pushing some new drug, Rising. People started taking it instead of Neuropazine. 
Somebody has a problem with this, and they want to find out where the drugs are coming from. You want some kind of humanitarian mission? Is that it? Let's just say I have a personal stake in the outcome. Now, Cardoso said you might be able to help me. Yeah, I might be able to help you. But nothing comes for free. You do a little favor for me, and I'll tell you everything you want to know about the Scouts. What kind of little favor? And why should I care? The Skulls are run by a shitbag called Diego. We had a... a disagreement over a deal, and he's been after me ever since. Guy really holds a grudge, you know? So, you want me to do your dirty work? Kill him? No, no, nothing like that. Look, Diego keeps a record of all his contacts, you know? Like insurance, in case he ever got busted, he could bargain his way out with the Federales. That list would be very useful to a guy in my line of work. I want you to find it. Steal it for me. I have a feeling that won't be easy. What's in it for me? I'll tell you everything you want to know about the Skulls. So you'll be, you know, prepared before you go in there. Otherwise you go in on your own. Take your chances. But if you do make it back, I mean, when you bring me the list, I'll give you something real valuable. Trust me, I'll make it worth your while. You'd better not be wasting my time. Okay, I'll keep an eye out for Diego's files. Where does he keep them? A pocket secretary. Something he keeps close by. Might even be, you know, in his pockets. <laughs> okay, so what do you want to know? So, this gang, they call themselves the Skulls. Yeah, I guess they think it sounds cool. Most of them are pretty young and stupid. They get recruited as teenagers and usually get killed before they have a chance to grow up. Life's kinda cheap around here, huh? And people are afraid of them? Hell, they run half the city. The police let them be most of the time, easier than getting killed. Cops only come in if they have solid evidence that major deal is going down. It's not worth the risk, you know? Tell me about this bloke, Diego. What I heard? He took over when he killed the last guy who was boss. Slit his throat while he was asleep. Sounds like a real gentleman. Eh, he's not all bad. When I was dealing with him, he was pretty reasonable, most of the time. As long as I was straight with him. But he's kind of... sensitive. Like if he thinks you're disrespecting him? <laughs> By Asso. Get the hell out of there before the bullets start flying. That's what I did. Doc said you were a gun runner. Maybe you can hook me up with some free firepower? I keep my gear stashed, to avoid attention. But I reckon I have some extra ammo I can give you. I think I have what I need. Thanks for the help. Whoa! What's that? Hi, Cobra. We are coming for you, pendejo. We're shutting your ass down. Nah, oh, shit. I got a jet. These creeps will smoke me. You should get the hell out of here, man.
Anna, you read me. I need you to record my audio feed right now. What? Why? Just do it. I want you to keep a copy of this conversation. Meto, looks like we got a visitor. Hey, gringo, I'm talking to you. So you are the tourista with the big cojones who's been snooping around my block, huh? You showing a lack of respect, hombre. Not looking for trouble. I know you could have your men kill me right now if you wanted. That's right, I could. So why would you be stupid enough to grow the skulls? What did you think was going to happen? You just tell me what I need to know, and I'm gone. I don't have to tell you shit, but go ahead, ask. Maybe you'll catch me in a good mood. Where are you getting the Rizy? No one's supposed to have it yet. What's your source? My source? You a cop? Why the fuck would I tell you? Word is, people are turning to Rising because they can't pay for new pods. But even though Rising hasn't been cleared as safe, you're still selling it. How does that work? Rayos. This street belongs to me, punk. Lim's market is legit. Their customers are rich assholes, but I give people what they really want. Where I get it, that's my business. That's bullshit. You're preying on the weak. Peddling rising like it's some kind of back alley street drug. <laughs> You're the dumbass turista. What we are selling is the real deal, except no substitutes. Where do you Everything get it? Everything comes our way. You just gotta shake things loose. We want rising, we go to the main guard in the cargo ships. Those bell tower boys, they got expensive tastes. Know what I mean? In return, we keep the dead old imagos off the street. They even dump the bodies for us out the sea to feed the fishes, huh? <laughs> Sounds like you've got a real sweet deal going on down here. Except for all the corpses. Hey, it's a hard knock life in my town. No me jodas. Now get out of here before we dump you. Anna, are you there? Did you get all of that? Every word. Ben, what's going on here? Bell Tower is operating in Panama City. They're supplying Rising to the slum gangs. Damn. Ben, if Bell Tower is involved, you need to be careful. There's more. They're hauling away the bodies of anyone who overdoses on the drug. Yeah, so I heard. But why? What are they trying to hide? I don't know. I'll let you know when I find out more.
granted. Cobra, I see the skulls haven't killed you yet. Hey, the snake is hard to catch. <laughs> I got that list you wanted. So what's it worth to you? Oh, I'm sure Diego didn't give them up easy. As for your compensation, it's up to you. I could always use some more credits. Yeah, just don't flash it around, yeah? Cobra, I see the skulls haven't killed you yet. Hey, the snake is hard to catch. <laughs> what are you hiding out here for? Just staying off the radar is all. Hey, listen. I traded a gun to one of the bouncers at Nightshades, and he gave me a membership card as payment. Bro, I can't dance. I gotta sell this thing. You interested? All right. I'll take it off your hands. Cashy money is always better. You're back. What did you find? We'll get to that. First, the neuropazine. I need to know you're going to follow through with your promise. Okay, but I need an address. I'll send the shipment wherever you want, if you tell me what you saw. Remember, no names, no tracking numbers. You think I want this coming back to me? Now, do you have evidence? What did you find out? The drug the Skulls are pushing is the real thing. It's rising, straight off the supply ships. That's impossible. XNG is in charge of shipping Rising from the Zafire Corporation Labs, and Bell Tower provides security. They're heavily armed. A gang of punks couldn't rob from them. Bell Tower is in on it. They're leaking the drugs into the slums on purpose. I have proof. And that's not all. They're taking away the corpses of any Rising victims. Do you know what this means? The drugs coming out of Zafire are toxic. They're field testing it on humans right here in the city. And someone is paying Bell Tower to cover it up. This is worse than I thought. You've got to get the evidence to someone who can blow the whistle. I know a woman who might be able to help. Her name is Alex Vega. She's a Bell Tower pilot, but she's not corrupt. I've known her too long. You can trust her. If Bell Tower is really doing what you say they're doing, she would know about it. What can she do? Last time we spoke, Alex said something about an assignment for the World Health Organization. She might have a contact there. Where can I find her? 
There's a club on the boardwalk called Nightshades. She hangs out there when she's off duty. I'll find out what she knows. And Doctor, thanks for the checkup. Good luck, Ben. Anna, it's Ben. Good news, it's done. There should be a package headed your way. Oh, thank God, Ben. I've been getting the shakes real bad. A couple more days without a dose. Listen, I want you to take the maglev into San Jose first thing and check the P.O. box. Will do. What about you? You're not coming back? Not just yet. The doc who set up the new POS contact seems to think there's a bell tower pilot who can help figure out this mess. I'm on my way to meet her now. Ben, you don't have to do that. This isn't our problem. I'm just going to check it out. I have to, Anna. If I don't, more people could die. I can't let that go.
Something's got you rattled. What's wrong? I don't have eyes in the back of my head. That's the problem. You think someone's after you? It's not personal. I'm the one ferrying VIPs around the city, and if someone wants to snuff them out, I'm just collateral damage. I've got a target on my back, see? I might be able to help if you tell me what you've heard. Just rumors, mostly. Bell Tower has a contract with XNG Shipping, running security for rising shipments going through the Panama Canal. But I heard some of the guards were actually taking a cut and selling it to gangbangers, street dealers. Rising is still in clinical trials. Even Lim doesn't have it yet. That's got to be a problem for someone. The World Health Organization has opened an investigation and sent their top inspector here to check it out. Guess who they got flying him all over the damn place? And if someone wants him to have an accident? I crash and burn with him. But I can't go up the line on this. I don't know how deep it goes. And it doesn't sound too good. A pilot warning her client that her own company would be out to kill her. So you want to help a girl out? I'll help you. But you have to be straight with me. You gotta warn the inspector about the danger he's in. That way he doesn't connect back to me. And then I'll owe you one. Maybe I'll let you buy me that drink. Where can I find him? He's staying at the Hotel Atana downtown. Top floor in the VIP suite. The whole floor is under lockdown and heavily guarded. Look, you seem like a straight arrow, and I'm a pretty good judge of character. Is that not a lot of options here? I'm gonna give you my clearance codes. That'll let you bypass the locked doors on the VIP floor, including access to the inspector's private room and the rooftop helipad. Don't make me regret this. Don't worry. You can trust me. I'll do what I can. I'm sorry, sir. We're booked solid for the night. I'd like to see the penthouse suite. I'm sorry, sir. That suite is occupied. In fact, the entire top floor is under restricted access. Really? So how does one get up there? You'll... you'll have to make a reservation. Access to the penthouse elevator is restricted to current guests only.
granted. Restricted floor, you're not allowed up here. Inspector, you need to listen to me. Your life is in danger. Are you threatening me? Stay back. I, I have bodyguards right outside. I'm here to help you. You're investigating the missing rising shipments. I have evidence implicating people inside the Bell Tower PMC. I know what Bell Tower is doing. It's all in my reports. Sapphire Biotech is producing a flawed product, and Bell Tower is covering it up, hiding the bodies. But I'm being stonewalled. You can't even get approval to inspect Zapphire's facilities in Australia. Someone in the WHO must be in on this. 
My reports have been discredited. People are dying down here. That can't be ignored. I know. That's why I'm going to go public. I'm sending my report to Picus. Once Eliza Kassan broadcasts it on the nightly news, everyone will know the truth. No! 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 Saxon! Sam? It, it can't be. Alex, it's Saxon. The inspector's been assassinated. What the hell happened? It was a black ops hit. Stay where you are. Your life may be in danger. I'm coming back for you. God damn it!
Anna, be there. We have a big problem. The tyrants are here, in Panama City. What? Are you certain? They just murdered a man right in front of me, so yeah, I'm certain. They're too close. It can't be a coincidence. Don't go back to the safe house. Get out now. Okay. But what are you going to do? Don't worry about me. Just stay off the grid. I'll contact you when I can. Good luck, Ben.
Back again? What do you want? You said I could earn some money. You need a job done? I think a man like you has skills I could use. I was supposed to receive a shipment of Revivo, the active component in Raisin. But my contact has disappeared. His name is Joey. Track him down and find out what he did with it. He's a gangbanger like the rest around here, but he's harmless enough. If you can get me my drugs, I'll pay you his fee. Plus a bonus. Good deal, huh? What does this mean for humans? Step off, hombre. You're Joey, aren't you? You're trying to rip off Alvarez. Who the fuck are you? I'm the bloke who'll be washing blood off his boots after I stomp your guts out. Carajo! Now hand over Easy, the package. Pana. I, I don't have no drugs. I, I lost them. Where? I don't know where. L last night we was trying to get into night shade when the cops decided to bust us. So I stashed the package, but I was messed up, you know? I don't remember where I hit him. You better be telling the truth, or I'll be back. Leave me alone, payaso! Rayos! Alvarez don't pay shit anyway. Your mate Joey is a skaghead. You should find another delivery boy. Here's your package. Metal banner. That mogul slab always fucks up. Thanks for your help. Here's your payment. Thanks. Don't forget, the doctor is always in.
there, citizen. Looks like you're packing some serious hardware. You must be an agent. Government? Military? Ex-military. But I got tired of fighting other people's wars. Shit, yeah, I get that. But I need some help. And I'm willing to pay for it. You help me fight my war, and I'll make it worth your while. You've got my attention. What do you want? I'm working on a case involving illegal rising distribution in Panama. And I think I got my man, the Kingpin. His name is Alvarez Uraujo, local scumbag. Somehow, he's got a line on the stuff and is selling large quantities of the drug in the slums. And you want to put him out of business? We're pretty tolerant of low-level crime in the city. Recreational drug use, but this is completely different. Lots of people are dying. We've got bodies piling up in the streets. And now, they're trying to push this junk downtown. That can't happen. So what do you want me to do? Take him out? Nothing like that. I just need evidence to make a bust. See if you can make contact with this lowlife. And then search for evidence. A list of customers, receipts. A pocket secretary would do the trick. If I take care of this for you, what do I get? Well, besides the warm fuzzy feeling of making the world a better place, how about cold hard cash? I'll do it, but if I get you the evidence you need, you better not stiff me. You got my word. What's wrong, English? You have a strange look about your face. Alvarez, you should know. The police are after you. Oh, the police are always after me. What else is new? No, this is serious. They wanted me to get them evidence. To build a case against you and bust your doors down. Rayus, did you agree to betray Alvarez? I came here to warn you. Your time's up. You need to pack up and get out of town before they haul you in. I appreciate the warning. In my line of work, when things get too hot, it's time to move on. But these people in the slums, they'll have no one to turn to now.
get the evidence? Alvarez skipped town, and he didn't leave any evidence. You blew it! Months of work down the drain! Get the hell out of here before I give you a demonstration in police brutality! Fucking Ogs! Something troubling you? Huh? No, I mean... Uh, it's not your problem. Maybe not, but that doesn't mean it can't be. What's going on? A few weeks ago, some gang members came in here looking for treatment. They didn't have insurance or a preferred client card. So I had to send them away. Pretty soon they started hanging around outside the clinic, saying stuff, threatening me. Then, one night, I caught them outside my apartment. My kids are staying with my sister now until this blows over. But I don't know what to do. Why don't you just tell the police? You think I didn't try? But if the police are watching me, those dirtbags stay away. And now the police won't come anymore. They said they have real police work to do. Well, I didn't see anyone loitering outside. You want me to swing by your apartment and send those creeps a little message? You won't find them there. I checked into the Hotel Etana a few days ago, hoping they'd lose track of me and give up. But they showed up there this morning. I don't know what I should do. All right. I'll head to the Etana and see what I can do. Thank you, Ben. I'll be staying here until I hear from you. Top floor is off limits. Don't bother asking me why. I wouldn't tell you if I knew. We got Maliantes trying to get in here using key cards. They live off of Rich Cancellati. We are stressed on the school security detail. And my guys are drinking for him. Alex. 
Hartwick's associates may have hacked the police box guard to enable her escape. Police are currently investigating the malfunction. Breaking news coming out of Well, did you find them? Were those thugs at the hotel? The two little punks had already broken into your room. I made sure they won't bother you again. Really? So I can bring my kids back home? Oh, thank you. I suppose you'll be wanting your reward now. I'll take any credits you can spare. 
This is all I have available right now. Living in two places has taken its toll. Thanks again, Ben. Make it the area, senor. You are not permitting you. known as DDS, while simultaneously bringing some much-needed competition.
Access granted. tissue buildup to those taking neuropathy, but at a fraction of the cost. Sapphire is keeping its manufacturing secrets close, causing some to doubt the legitimacy of the drug altogether. Others question the thoroughness of the company's tests and the speed at which Rising is moving to market. Still, Sapphire plans to make its initial public offering in a matter of weeks, so I guess only time will tell if Rising lives up to its hype. <laughs> down under. Maybe. I don't know. I'm starting to feel a little stir crazy.
paid to give it to him. Sergeant took mine. 
So, why did you do that? Some garbage about lighting the cargo bay on fire, I think. I don't know, I took them out.
Saxon. You're all clear. Surveillance systems are down. No one will be able to track your veto. You better be right. I'm heading to the hangar now. Wait for me on the roof of the Hotel Itana. I'll pick you up there. Don't keep me waiting. On my way.
Anna, are you there? I'm getting out of Panama. Are you safe? Yeah, I'm on the move already. I called in some favors with our old friends in the new Sons of Freedom. They're gonna get me set up. I should be able to help you very soon. Just don't take any risks. Hey, you know me. What about you? I'm going to Australia. Zafar Biotech. I got a tip they're tainting the Rising. I have to follow this all the way to the end. That's a secure corporate facility, then. If the tyrants are involved, they've got to know you'll be coming. I'll do what I can from this end to help you get in there. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon. Saxon, something's going on over at the Atana. Police radio says they've evacuated the entire hotel. This could mean trouble. Stick to the plan. I'll see you on the roof. Off limits, Mano. Get out of here. Can you read me? There's no way I can land this thing. They're all over the rooftop. Oh, hell. Is that a box guard? Shit! Stay in a holding pattern. I'll clear them out. Just don't go without me. Are you kidding? You see the mess you got me into? You better stay alive so I can kill you myself. Alex, you got a gunship inbound. Already on it. But he's just one guy. They really think we need that much firepower? Right. Don't stop talking and start paying attention.
Australia, Canberra. Look for the Sapphire Biotech building. Okay, strap in. Don't expect an in-flight movie, okay? You had him in your sights. Why is he still alive? Saxon had help. Next time he won't be so lucky. We can't tolerate further interference. We're almost ready to go public. It is critical we proceed without incident. The failure was mine, Commander. It won't happen again. Ben Saxon will die.